So, John, you got to spend time here. Absolutely, yeah. Now, is it correct? Do we need to apologize? Were we not that welcoming to you? No. <clears throat> no, most people are so welcoming. Um, but customs agents, <laughs> not so much. <laughs> I'm sure customs is a pain for everybody, right? It's a little mm -hmm. bit of like, I got somewhere to be. No, you guys love it? <laughs> they live here. It's quite easy to yeah, get in. Like, <laughs> you just walk through. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in the line of 1800. <laughs> uh, no, I, w I went up to when she was shooting. I was shooting something in Montreal, so I flew back to see the kids and, and my wife. Um, and uh, I remember yeah, going through cool. customs. Everything was fine. And, and then one week, just got unlucky, and there was a guy about my age, seemed a bit grumpy. And he said, um, let me see. He said, yeah, he said, uh, you an actor? And I said, yeah. He goes, what do I know you from? And I said, I, I don't know if you'd know. I mean, we did the American version of your British office. Strike one. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that show. <laughs> the UK version. I was like, I get it. I get it. And then he said, uh, who are you visiting? I said, my <clears throat> wife. And he said, is she an actress? And I said, yeah. He said, uh, would I know her? I said, I, I don't know. And he said, what's her name? And I said, Emily Blunt, as he was writing something. And he went, you? <laughs> <laughs> You. <laughs> yeah, and he goes, all right, get out of here. <laughs> like stamped my passport with a fury. <laughs> John, also, I, I did encourage him that he would be welcome more if he stopped wearing a baseball cap, because I just said, you look so American. <laughs> Nobody wears baseball caps. Oh, that makes it better. You look so American. Take off the baseball no, cap. I just wanted you to blend in a That's bit. That's just so... called prejudice, is what so... it is. <laughs> But he went out and bought himself a tweed flat cap. Mm. No, he looked awesome. Was that good? No, no, he looked like something out of a Guy Ritchie film. You look great. And he walked down the street, <laughs> and it was like the sun came out, because suddenly a guy turned to him and he went, all right? What, the <laughs> what does that say about your country? That it's like, well, if you lose the baseball hat, get Just a flat wear cap. tweed, that's what it says. <laughs> that's what you need. It's that simple, then. And was it nice, because presumably having your children spending time here yes, was quite nice. Yes, Because are they American children? You said it kind of sneering me. Like, oh, no. Like, no. <laughs> no, it's just getting weirder. Yeah. Um, <laughs> put your cap on, you'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. You like dry heaved. You were like, are they American? Have <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you given birth to? <laughs> oh, God. It's they worse. Hat dog. <laughs> it's, it's worse in the film. And then an American came out of her. <laughs> oh. I mean, they are. Semi-American. <laughs> <laughs> they did become um, quite. Uh, well, my oldest daughter became quite British-sounding over the course of the year that I was here for Mary Poppins, and she was sort of saying things like bath and water, and now she's back to water. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>